Hey everybody, it's Blue Turtle, and welcome to Patrick's Parabox. A game that I've talked about before and highly recommend, based on just the demo. But now I'm here again to play the full game. So I'm very interested to see how this goes. I'm very excited to start, so let's go. Now if you haven't seen the demo for Patrick's Parabox or any of the game itself, this is a puzzle game where we have to push things around, getting them into the specified positions, and solving these all these puzzles in different ways. Something that's important to note is if you push something into a wall, you basically can't push it away from that wall, which means you have to th th really think through what you're doing. It's very easy to overthink what you're doing though with these puzzles, so... But it's, it's, it's just so cool. I'm gonna go through a bit of this pretty quickly because this is pretty much what we did in the demo. And there's just so much to it. All, and just remember that all of this is within all of these blocks, basically. So as you can see here, we're getting to the main crux of the game, where we can push blocks into other blocks. And that's how we're going to be solving a bu bunch of puzzles. The entire, like every puzzle in fact, is basically another block inside of the world map, which is just really cool. I mean, you can't enter them, but it's it's just so cool. I love Patrick's Parabox, and I'm so glad to be here. And I'm also playing this blind now, from when, once we get to actually where we're supposed to be up to, so... But yeah, I, I know most of the solutions already, for the beginning area, so... I'll try and get through it fairly quickly, I guess. But it, it, yeah, I'm not gonna stop gushing about how much I love this game, so... Get used to it, maybe. Anyway, let's push that into place, get that done. I think I've done, like, the first two worlds, pretty much, so... And this is the first one, which is the tutorial teaching about all the basics. Okay, now we have to get the block into there, which I don't think it matters which one of these we push into. As long as we then go into the other one... ...to push it into place. Also, I love the art style for this game as well. It's so simplistic, but, yeah, it's, it's just so good. Uh, I believe this is the same people who made Linolith, or Linolith, I don't know. Which was also really good and I highly recommend, so... The, the creators of this game are just really good, so... <laughs> that's all you need to know. But there we go, that's the first world done for the tutorial. So let's actually go into the main part of the game and get going. The world map works about it how you expect. We have to go through all the levels as they are. But in this next world you'll see that there are actually bonus levels as well we can do. What is this? Oh, this is just some extra tip stuff. There are some interesting settings that you can do, which I saw uh, in the settings, I believe. There's actually an unlock all puzzles switch, which I guess if you want to do that, you can, but I'm not going to do that, so... Let's resume. And let's go into the next puzzle. Enter? Why is enter? I don't know what that's about, anyway. Also, can we just, like, take a moment to, uh... It, like, just appreciate the fact that, e like, the world hub is a block within a block, and then you can see the next world beyond, and then the next world after that. That's just so cool, but anyway. Need to get through this world. Now we have this interesting spot here. We can't get the, both these blocks through without them getting stuck against the wall, so let's push that into there. Uh, push that down. Go into here. Almost, almost tricked me. I almost struggled with that. Uh, I have to actually remember how to do some of these puzzles, which I don't entirely remember everything from. Now, I think what we want to do here... ...is we want to push both of these down, basically. Like that. And then we can turn that around. Push back the other way. There we go. I'll probably say once we reach some more puzzles that we haven't done before. Now, this is interesting. Uh, we need to make sure that this one is down over there, because that one has the end for us, the player. As you can see inside of it. Oop. So we need to have that against the wall so we can go into it, because you can't just go into a block. It has to be pushed up against a wall before you can go into it, like that, so... There we go. Now, this one is also quite interesting. We have a whole bunch of blocks here, so let's just combine them all together. Just like that, and we're done. Like, this is just the refresher course episode, I guess, I don't know. Uh, this one is an interesting one because it feels like you're not doing anything when you definitely are. And that's the important thing to remember. And sometimes it doesn't look like you're changing something when you really are, so... Just like that. That one really confused me, I'm pretty sure, probably. Puzzle challenge? Challenge puzzle. Achievement, apparently. 
It's not showing up on the recording, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, what am I doing here? This is interesting. I think what it wants me to do is that. So then we can push this block into there. Like that, and we still haven't moved it technically. Oh, wait, like push it into the wall so we can still move it around. The other one's in push into the wall so we can't move that, so... If it's touching a wall, you can't pull it away from the wall. You have to actually figure out another way to get it around or figure out something else, so... Uh, again, this is quite interesting. I think I'm going to push that into there, basically. We're going to push this into here. Uh, and then push that into there. And now we can get this out again. Just like that. Perfect. I love this game so much. Like, I know what I'm doing for this first bit here, but also, it's just so good. Uh, now, that one was, this almost tricked me just now. Because if we push that into there, we can't push the thing through the, the tunnel. It will get stuck in the middle. So we need to actually put this in first, like that. And now, now we can get this up to where it needs to be. Like that. Is that all we're in? Yes it is, because we can't leave this block. And there we go. I think we're going to also start getting to some tr more tricky stuff in a second here, but not quite yet. Uh, now I believe I probably want both of these against this wall, I think. I could be wrong about that. No, that's right. Now we can get into here. We can push this away from the wall. That's the, how the rules work. Get in that in position, and there we go. Okay, now we have to find a way into this using the thing. As our last way in. Which I think the best way to do this is probably to put that there. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. We can also undo, which is nice. By pressing... Uh... Control Z, I think, or is it just Z? It's just Z. Also, I forgot to mention the controls. We just move around with the... Con like, the only thing we can do, basically, is move around with either WASD or the arrow keys, so... And then, of course, we can go back uh, a move by pressing Z. But there we go, that's all that needs to be in position. We can just go into this last one. Nope, I forgot. Okay, I've definitely done this wrong. We need all three of these blocks. And also not to have those blocks right up against the wall. I think there's also a reset button, and I can't remember which one it is. I really cannot remember. Oh, we can also press X to redo, which is interesting. But yeah, there should be a... a re which, which one's the redo? I should probably check the settings because it will tell me everything I need to know. Movement settings. I was surprised you've been paying attention. That's not the right one. Controls. Keyboard controls. Uh, reset is R, which I should have known, but I just didn't, so I pressed everything but that, probably. So let's put that... No, I'm doing it again, aren't I? What? Which... <laughs> See, this is... It's very easy to overthink in this game, and I love that. But also... Need to go up into it. Or something. Up into it or sideways into it. Let's put it there. And then put the other blocks around it. Like that. There we go. That's better. Easy to overthink and it's it, it just works as a it's a really good puzzle game. <laughs> Even if I've done this these puzzles before for some of this. Okay, now we're going into a block within a block within a block, and then we need to get this one out. Which we need to do something to get into it first. We kind of we can't actually get this block out, so we need to go into this next block and into this block, and we need to get this one out. Now I think we actually want to push push this down because now we can go around this way, and now we can push this all the way out of all of these blocks. <laughs> this seems unnecessary, but there we go. We also have to keep in mind how it aligns, I guess, with the blocks outside of the block, so. And now for the other thing about Patrick's Parabox. We are in a block within a block. Recurse. Achievement get. So, we have to figure this out completely differently to what we've already been doing. So let's push that down there. And now let's go down this way. Push that up. Guess it doesn't matter which path we take as long as we go through. And it can be pretty optimal. Also, I love how you can see the rest of the puzzle outside of the puzzle for this. Like, you can see on the top of the screen now, there's me. <laughs> just going in and out. That's just so cool. But yeah, we have to really think about this. So because this block is in this middle hole here, we can go down through it, out of it. And now we can push it up. But now what do I want to do? I think I want to go through here. 
push it down. No, that doesn't make sense. No, I do. That's where it needs to go. Right, I'm not paying attention to where the exit is. Now, this one's quite interesting as well. We can also just push this block forever if we wanted to, which is not going to help us at all. So, let's push that down, and now let's push that block into place. It's pretty simple. Just don't overthink it. There we go. Now, this one is interesting. I remember this one... I remember struggling with this one a little bit. But I think I just need to push that there. That there. That down. And then we can go out. And there we go. Have I just made... Can I... I don't think I can say how much... Like, I, can, I can't say enough how much I love this game. Let's push that there. Push that down. Push that in there. And then we can go up through here. So we can get around it. If, I, if you ever get confused by where I'm going, just look at the smaller block, basically. I think there's another, like, some more of these puzzles that I haven't done yet. or well, that I have done yet, but I haven't done. Oh, we can level select. Interesting. By using that. Okay, that's cool. So that's just the name of the world. This is Enter. Let's do a, some side puzzles. Yeah, I've done this one before. <laughs> Which is interesting. This is, this is so interesting. So the main problem with this one is we have this against the wall, so we need to do something about that. So let's push that there. We can't push it down, otherwise it's going to get stuck again. So let's go down this way. Push that up. I think. Then, let's push it down there. Go down this way. Push that down. Go around and up. Now we can go around, which I can just go that way if I want to, to be a little bit faster. And there we go. Last puzzle for the world. This one is also quite an interesting one because we have to get this out without it going getting stuck in there. I think what we want to do is basically reverse engineer this entire thing the way it wasn't so intended to be, but it, it is. This is how it, you're intended to do it. And I can push both of these out, just like that, putting them into position. I hope I'm explaining this well enough. I'm just going through it and really just enjoying myself. We'll, get, we'll eventually get to stuff I don't know. I'm going to get really confused. Now, have I done this? I'm not sure. I don't think I have. No, we've got a different kind of block here for some reason. What does this do? Can we pull it? No. Oh, we can go into it. Because it's, uh, like that. So, if we go down from here, into there... That's actually such an interesting idea for a block. That's brilliant. It's not even a block, it's just a room. Okay, so yeah, we're up to some new puzzles now. I'll hopefully better solve it. Also, I really appreciate this music. Okay. Think about it. I think I want to put this over there. So I can push that in. Nope, that's not what I want. Um, I don't want to push it in. I need to push the other thing in. So I need to push this to there and push that in like that. And then go in. No. Oh, I need... Do I need that? I'm, I'm missing something here. And it's definitely not just that. I need... Something. I'm sure like this... Hang on, reset. Quickly. I think there's a little puzzle thing here where we need to push this in without pushing it in. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm going to start having a lot of trouble with this, I think. What if... No, hang on. Don't do that. We do that. No, that was a really dumb idea, wasn't it? Let me think about this. I'm really confusing myself. Unnecessarily. Like, it has to have something to do with the smaller room. But not like that. If we push that out, then we push that in. Oh, I see. Something's, something happened there. I don't know if that's what I want, but something happened there. Let's try not to overthink this, which I've already done. I want to push this up or down, I don't think. I feel like it has... Something to do with that. And then maybe... No, that seems wrong. Huh? 
Huh? Huh? What would I do? That's so weird. Hang on, if I go back... No, that's not gonna work, is it? Interesting. I feel like it has to boot, like, do something like with pushing it either up or down from here. Or maybe... Just maybe... If we push it into... There like that... Then we can push it into there like that. Okay, I've figured it out now. So yeah, we're, we're definitely gonna start having some more... Time thinking about this now. Since I don't know these puzzles. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, I don't want to push this anywhere specifically, I don't think. I need a block inside of this block. But I don't have an extra block. So I need to push this one out. And push the other one in. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we need to be in that one. We also need this one. There. I think this is actually a lot simpler than I need it. Then. No. No. Uh. No. Hang on. Hmm. No. No. Hang on. Reset. Push that one. There. Maybe. That one. There. Maybe. More like that. Like that. I mean, that's working. So let's go with that. Okay, a few more levels done. What's next? Okay, interesting. Two blocks and a room. We need to be on the other side when we push it out into position. So we can't push it all the way against the wall. But we also need to have these get to where we need them to be. So I think I want to push that down to like there. Push that into there. Basically. And then, like that, and that, and like that. There we go. <laughs> nice. I am smartish sometimes. Also, I think. Like, look at these things on the edge of the uh, edges of the room. Are they just there? I guess they're just there. Okay, more bonus puzzle. Interesting. Very interesting. We have two. We have a room and a block. And they're both unaccessible. Until we get them away from the wall, that is. So let's do something like that. And then like that. Very nice. Okay, so we have to get one of these in... First? Or... Or... We get both of these into here. To start off. And then we push that in. Oh, hang on, I've made a mistake. I need to not have one against the wall. Like I did. That one there. That one there. Now that we can push that into position. That one there. No, hang on. Needs to go out that way first, and then we can do that. Hang on, just take your time. And then here's the end. There we go. I'm doing it. 7 out of 7. You can actually go to the next ward already, which is interesting. But I do want to get all the puzzles done. Because I want to do it. I want to be smart. If I can be. I don't think I am if I've already failed that. So hang on, we just need to... Push these all in different directions, right? Basically. Except not exiting yet. And then the last one needs to be... Like that. So we need to go out that way so we can push that into the where it needs to be. Then we can get the lot two and there we go. Okay, two rooms with limited access. We need two blocks somehow. Which means we're gonna have to put a room inside of side one of them. And somehow if this still work. How do I push the blocks into the other blocks? Do I just do it, I guess? But I also need to not get it stuck. So let's do that. And then maybe... Push that into there. Like that. Push that down there, or just wherever. Until it works, and there we go. Okay. 
We did already do the other one, I think. Did we do this one? Yes. Hang on. Uh, return to hub. Try this one out now. Interesting, we have three rooms. Which we need to optimize to get us through. Somehow. I feel like we want this one on top. That's a bit of an unknown. Hang on, maybe not. Maybe... If we do that one. Although we also have to make it... Do like that. Because I think I want to do this in reverse. I want to do this one last. Or first. So that goes in there. Right. Or no, is that what... Maybe that's what I wanted in. I'm going to have to use all three. Hang on. Maybe I'm just supposed to use all three and have them all get to the end somehow because we need a block for something. But we don't know what needs to be in it. So we'll put that in there. Okay, I'm seeing something here. Hang on, let me reset quickly. I'm going to put that into there. I've messed it up, haven't I? Because I can't pull it away from the wall now. Can I do something about that? Not really. That's actually very confusing. Uh, okay. I think I'm on the right track, though, with that. So let me put maybe that one in there. Oh, yeah, because I can actually put this one in there. And then put it into the other one. Like that. Okay, there we go. So now we can exit that. Push that up to there. And we can get into here. Push that out to there. Go into here and push that out to there. That's a really cool puzzle. Also, I love the colors of the rooms and stuff. It's just... Everything clicks together so well for this. Okay, interesting. So which one needs to go where then? I think we actually need to put yellow into the blue. Hang on, how do I do this? Not like that. Uh, I've really messed this up, haven't I? So we do like that. And then we push that over there. We go in, push that up. Right, and then we go into this one. Push that up into that one. And out that way. Cool, very nice. Also, there's a lot of rooms. <laughs> there we go. Now, what's this one? Oh, this one's on one I've done before. It's in the demo. So put that there. And then we go up through there so we can pull it away from the wall. And then we just push this down so we can get into a better position. Push this up so it's out of the pole, please. Not going the wrong way. And we can push that into its little spot. And there we go. So I guess that some of the demo is still pulling it, pushing over. Yeah, like this one. How do I want to do this? I think I want to go like that. Push that one there. But not too much. I think it needs to go... Here? Because if I push it too far over, it's not going to work. Push that like that, that one like that, and there we go. Okay, another one that we've done before. This one's quite interesting because both of these are stuck to the wall, so we need to just... Be very careful about what move we do. We need to push that down one so we can actually get the block out without it being pushed back into the wall. Just like that. And then same thing with this one, just in reverse. Nope, that was too far forward. That's fine, I can reverse because I can. And there we go. Nope, hang on. <laughs> Good thing I can rewind. Okay, that's this world complete. Very nice. Okay. Also, it's interesting that the block lit up around the edges, because that's what happens with the endings of some of them. The puzzles. You know what I mean? That's very interesting. Also, I guess I should probably be using the, the faster way through, otherwise I'm going to end up falling into levels. But I kind of I like traveling through all of these. It's really cool. Okay, we're up to eat now. What does that even mean? Are we going to be able to eat things? Or is it going to be really strange? I think it's just going to be strange, kind of. Except we just push like that and we're done. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Um, let's push it like that. And then basically the same thing with this. Except not pushing it into where we need to be. There we go. 
There's so many cool blocks. I just have to say that. Okay, I don't want to push that into that one, so let's be careful about this. I basically just want to put that there. No, not there. Uh, how does it want me to do this? Like, I can do that, kind of. And then... And then we can just push it back up again. Also, yeah, I have to make that sound when I do that. That's really cool. Okay, very nice. Okay, what is this madness? And what does it want me to do? It kind of wants me to put the block into a weird spot, but then how do I do that without messing it up? Um... Can't put it on that side. I have to put it in this side, don't I? But if I do it wrong, it gets stuck in the thing, so I need to do it like that. It needs to eat. That's the whole point of the world, is eating things. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean. Eating things. Okay, what's next? Uh, I think this is another one that I've done before. No. Hang on. We need to push this into that, so we can eat it. Push into that one. Yeah, so I haven't done this one before. It looked, it just looked like one I'd done before, basically. But we can push it out again. This is basically the same thing, right? Except now we have a problem. Because of the walls. Except that if I do something... And by, by something I mean push it into that, because that block's there, conveniently. We can then push that into position there. That into there, and now we can push that up there. There we go. I'm surprised at how well I'm doing so far. It's gonna get a lot harder than this. Probably. Look at this madness. Okay. So one of those needs to be in the blue block at the top. So the green one needs to go here, and the other ones need to go in there somehow. I think I just want to order them, right? Somewhat. So let's do that. And then that. And then that. That, but now we need to get the... No, that's fine, because we can just push it in, right? <laughs> the sounds help, trust me. There we go, very nice. Caterpillar, Caterpillar room complete. Okay, interesting. I think it wants me to eat that, and then push that down. I don't know what I'm actually supposed to be doing here, but I'm doing it, I guess. Like that, and then we can go through here. And I guess we can just push that block anywhere we want, because we don't need it, I think. It would just help us get it around. And then... Do I want to push this down? And then push it to the side, and then just go down, I guess? What's the point of that block being there, then? Oh, because that's gonna be a problem for me. But I can't do it any other way. Unless there's something else here that I can do first. Let me rewind a bit. Also, maybe it wants me to do that and not that. No, that's gonna just destroy it, isn't it? It's gonna get pushed right into there and now I can't get that. Like that. So I must have to push this down, unless I can make it eat the other block first. Hang on. Idea forming. If I get it to eat this other block first, like that, then it'll push the green one to where it needs to be. It'll push it out of the hole. Like that. I guess I could have just done that. <laughs> Probably. Oh, I think I need to do it with both, don't I? So I can actually get it out. Yeah, there we go. So I, so I was right to, to, to put the other block in there. There we go. Very nice. Making good progress. But I think that's probably going to be it for now because I'm, I'm going too quick for the moment. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time.